today I'd like to show you how to replace the HTML editor, as you can see here, with the ACE code editor. The first thing we're going to do is download the, uh, the compiled code from GitHub, which I've already downloaded. And then I will extract it. And then we're going to copy it to a folder, uh, which you may or may not already have. Create a scripts folder and one for ace. And we're going to grab the no the minified no conflict version, which includes its own version of require. If you are already using require, then you could pick one of the other versions. Okay. And now we need to find the XML file for that edit HTML control. And I'm going to take a guess at it. Sitecore, shell, applications, dialogues. Well, that's not it. Content manager. Oh, dialogues. Edit HTML. There we go. So it's in that deep path right there. And I'm going to edit it with my sublime text editor and now we need to add a few references and I'll just pick space okay this first one is the no conflict version of jQuery distributed with Sitecore and this is the new ace JavaScript code that we downloaded another reference that I'll add will be for a new file we'll create and I'll call it edithtml.js mm. and I don't really want it there I'll put it in my scripts folder The first code that I need to write in here is a self-executing anonymous function. And you may have other preferences to, to how to do that. And I'd like to include jQuery and map the word jQuery to the dollar symbol. I need to do this because the no conflict version is being used. All right. And the next piece of code will be hiding the ribbon control and the text editor. And by text editor, I mean text area. I've already created this code in advance. What we're going to do is append to the head. Uh, it's a style tag that includes um, some CSS to hide the ribbon panel which in the sheer UI uh, using you know ASP it will generate its own custom ID with ribbon panel appended to it so the selector ID dollar equals will account for that and the text area which has a name of HTML we're gonna set those displays to none and I'd like to also create a new text, uh, excuse me, a new div control with an ID of code editor. And once the page is loaded, this is the ready function. Uh, I want to first select the HTML control, the text area and copy and paste is much faster okay we're gonna select that and I want to create a new div control with an ID of code editor and then append that new control after the HTML which means they'll be siblings and I'll uh, just paste in some boilerplate code
And this you can pull right off of the Ace Editor website. Um, I just changed the variable name. Using Ace, we're going to create a new um, edit area. I've already selected the code editor after it was a, appended to the, um, the parent control that is hosting this text area. And I need to grab either, I can use either the ID or the element itself. Uh, I think I did it this way because if you don't, if the control hasn't already been added when this code executed, it, it can't find it. So if you pass in the element, then it knows what to do right away. Then we're going to set it to one of the built-in themes, which looks very similar to the Sublime theme. And I'd like it to be in the HTML mode. If you check out uh, what's in the directory, you can see that they have um, JavaScript, uh, there's some PowerShell, which we've We've used a version of that for the Sitecore PowerShell extensions plugin. And um, so you've got themes, you've got modes. The modes are what you're anticipating you type into the editor, and the themes will be what it, the color scheme will look like. And the next piece of code I'm going to add is for when you're typing in the editor. Uh, as soon as it loads, it will take the uh, text from the original text area and stuff it into the code editor. And then when you type in the code editor, it will push that text back into the text area. So essentially what we're doing is uh, I, I'd like the, the existing behavior to work, but I just don't want their text area to be visible. So as you make changes in the ACE code editor, it will put that text into the hidden text area and then the uh, the UI will still know how to manage the uh, the content that you're working with uh, and then the next piece of code will be providing the uh, autocomplete behavior so emit allows for that uh, now what I've had to do with this file is copy my own version and I had to get it off of their website so if we jump here and it's, it's a reference somewhere uh, not this one this guy right here so I think this is a like a nightly build or somewhere and so what I've done is I do save as create a new folder called uh, I think that's what I called it and I dropped it right in there and jump back uh, ace mint core mint yes uh, you could use the full URL if you like uh, I prefer it to be local and then the language tools uh, also helps with the autocomplete so you can once again read their documentation on, on what all this is for but it basically provides the autocomplete behavior and the snippet behavior. If you didn't want the snippets to show up, you could hide it. And then there's some extra code that you could add to uh, create your own snippets. But that goes beyond today's demo. Okay, now that I've got the edit HTML configured, uh, let's try it out. And if I refresh it, Okay, so it looked like it didn't show up. Uh, let's see if I can refresh the page. Mm -hmm. um, let's try this again. Oh, I think I figured it out. Uh, I didn't save it. Voila! Uh, 
just to do a quick recap of what we've done, oh, and to also test that it worked, saved it here. So what we've done is we added the no conflict jQuery to the edit HTML control. We added a reference to the ace code editor code, and we wrote a JavaScript file that loads um, that automatically loads, appends some CSS to the page. When the page is completed loading, it selects the text area and the CSS is already hiding it. We create a new div control, append that to the, um, or append it after the HTML control. Then we did some boilerplate code for the ACE code editor. We initially set it to the value of the text area, trimming any of the white space. And then anytime you make a change in the code editor, uh, it will get stuffed back into the text area. And then we added support for the autocomplete and the snippets and so on and so forth. And I will post this on my blog at michaelwest.blogspot.com. And I uh, hope you liked it. Thanks.